Alice, the very special therapy dog, written by Kathy Benner and C.Q. Wilder, and illustrated by Netta Nori. Hi everyone, my name is Atlas, and this is my mom, Kathy. My mom and I make a great team. She is a dog trainer and I am a therapy dog. I am a special breed of dog called a Dog de Bordeaux. Since it is pretty tricky to say, you can also call me a French Mastiff. I am very special, just like the kids that I visit. I have a very special job. I visit and help children of all ages who have different abilities. My mom makes sure I use my manners whenever we are working together. She also helps me learn fun ways to play with kids. Sometimes I pull a special wagon. Sometimes I go bowling. Sometimes my friends take me on long walks so they can practice their balance. I am special because I am not like other French Mastiffs. Other French Mastiffs have a long tail, but I have a short tail. I don't mind though, I still wag it. It is what makes me, me. There is one more thing that makes me special. You cannot see it from the outside though. It is in my inside. Let me tell you the story of how my mom and my doctor found out what it was. One day, I got very, very sick. My tummy was really upset. So upset, I could not eat my breakfast. I did not want to walk. I did not want to pull my wagon. And I did not want to bowl with my friends. All I wanted to do was lay in my bed. I felt so bad, I could not stand up. My mom was so worried about me that she took me to see many doctors. None of them could tell my mom what was wrong with me. Finally, one doctor did a special test called an ultrasound. I had to lay extra still while the doctor put a special wand next to my tummy to see what was inside of me. The doctor discovered what was making me sick. I found it! I know what is wrong. His gallbladder is in the wrong place. It should be here, not here. The doctor told my mom that I needed to have surgery to remove my gallbladder. Gallbladders help people and animals digest or break down food. I was born with my gallbladder in the wrong place. Thankfully, dogs can live without their gallbladder, just like humans. I was worried, but I knew the doctors would take good care of me. The doctors and my mom helped me to feel safe and calm. To get ready for my surgery, I had an IV in my arm to make sure my body was ready to be fixed. The doctor gave me some medicine that made me sleep. When I woke up, my surgery was all done. I had 50 stitches and staples to hold my wound together. I had to stay in the hospital for many days to heal. While I was there, I was thinking of how I could not wait to get back to playing with my friends. Finally, the doctor said I could go home. She said that I had to take it easy. That meant I had to be calm and let my body rest. I had to try my best to stay quiet so my body could heal. My friends would all have to wait to play with me until I was completely better. Taking my medicine was not my favorite time, but I was very brave. With the help of my mom, I took all of my medicine so that I could get better. After a few weeks, I was starting to feel better. Even though I was sore at times, I could do a little more each day. I never gave up, and before I knew it, I felt as good as new again. Now that I am all healed, I am back to doing what I love, visiting with and helping children. I love to share my story with others to let them know that they can get through anything if they have the right attitude and stay courageous and brave. So that was the story of how my mom found out how special of a dog I really am and how I found out how brave I could really be. We thank you for watching and reading. For more information about this book and others, you can go to www.cqwilder.com.